You've been systematically programmed to hate Islam, hate Islam, hate Islam. You've been conditioned to blame religion through image cognition. I can make you bark like Pavlov's dog, excuse me. I can make you bow to man-made gods, repeat what you see. Error, error, repeat after me. Fear, terror, fear, terror, terror, terror extreme. Fear them, fear them, freedom, freedom. American dream, woman in a scarf, bomb. Man with a beard, bomb. Jihad, jihad, Islam, Islam. Islam, the war on terror. Era, era, delete. Brainwashed, complete. You've been hypnotized. Made to believe that Muslims are not civilized. You don't even realize it, but you have justified genocide. Kill them all. Kill them, kill them all. Savage, savage. Your entire country is collateral damage. The real problem is the national debt. Era, era. Muslims are a national threat. Do me a favor and don't think for yourself. Just pay taxes if you really want to help. The people in power have this all under control. And you, 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 you should be worried about the Super Bowl. Did you hear that interception on your cell phone, era? Did you see that interception in the end zone? Patriots win. Patriots, Patriots win. That's a subliminal message. Should I say it again? East versus West. And the media is worse than a cheating ref as more Patriots touch down for a game of sudden death. But let's play with the lives of innocent people. Another epic battle of good against evil. The music is deadly and the media is lethal. Big Brother is watching and believe me, he sees you. Program after program, we are being subconsciously programmed. Sitcom after sitcom, bombs drop as you sit calm. Let's go out to the theater for an incredible experiment, era, experience, filling up the eyes with lies while taking the lives of humans to see how long you just sit there and let their lives be ruined. We've successfully desensitized an entire generation through movie and video game simulation and overstimulation is an open invitation to blow up entire nations. Sex-driven society, who cares about Gaza? It's almost time to prepare for the Oscars. Who's your nomination for movie of the year? You cry over fiction, but real life doesn't move you to tears. Your eyes have been blinded and your hearts are numb. Your ears cannot hear, you are deaf and dumb. And it's just the beginning before you realize what we've done. Most of your generation will be dead and gone. And it'll be too late. Once we wake from this sleep, the damage has been done. Brainwash complete. When a person doesn't recognize that they need to know Allah, and that they need to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That, that is how you are nourished spiritually. But if you don't recognize it, and, and how does that happen? It happens because a person has clouded, he's, he's diseased. He's clouded himself with all types of false information. And guaranteed, if you go through any secular system of schooling, everything that you are learning is teaching you to forget Allah. Step by step. You know why? You know why? And what do, they, what do they replace it with? They replace it with a different religion, but they don't call it religion. They call it science. They call it science. And science, the basis of it is what? Look, you don't have to be an atheist to believe in evolution. Now, if your aim is to propagandize in favor of evolution, that obviously is the best deduction technique. But if your aim is to kill religion, as mine is, if your aim is to kill religion, then since evolution is manifestly true, then if, if there are people out there who really believe that, uh, that, it, it, that if you are an evolutionist, you've got to be an atheist, then all I've got to do is to persuade them of evolution, which should be comparatively easy, since the, uh, since the evidence is overwhelming, and I'll turn them all into atheists. Because the people that are in control can stay in control because they're supposed to be in control according to evolution. They got no moral compass related to anything evolution. There's no, there's no morality related to that.
So we can kill if that's what it means because this is about survival of the fittest. And if that means we need to eliminate people, then, that's, then so be it. That system is put there to keep people where they are because there's no accountability to a higher being. Like Fir'aun said, I'm your Lord, the most high. And that's it. The, the point is that, is that we, we are the ones, we, we are the ones in need of recognizing, of recognizing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and recognizing his uluhiyya, yani his qualities of being the divine and his perfect qualities.